Welcome back, everyone. 925 this morning. So great to have you with us here. Like, what is going on here? We are in for uh, some important information here with a cute little helper here. Even the most independent person, when they head off to college, they can experience home, some homesickness, some anxiety during the first few weeks of school. Joining us to talk about this, can I help them through all of this? Uh, Charles Anderson, the Director of Counseling and Psychology Services at the University of New Haven. Therapy dog Gizmo. Hi, Gizmo. <laughs> and Gizmo's handler, Jennifer. I thank you all thank so you. much for being here. I feel like thank I hit you. the jackpot with this uh, little guy <laughs> here. Um, Charles, I'll start with you. How much of an, you're, you're working with students every day. Your kids go back on Monday or young adults. Yeah. How much of an issue is is anxiety and this homesickness? Well, it's really it's really huge, especially for the new incoming students, uh, freshmen that are just uh, will just be starting. Um, that separation, anxiety, stress, um, homesickness is is a, is a big issue, and uh, we see really um, you know quite a bit of uh, utilization of our services um, right at the very beginning of the semester, usually. Which is nice because I know oftentimes young people won't often tap into some resources that are available to them. What are you doing to help them out? Well, we, we really try to um, make a, a, a particular effort to be out in the student community, to uh, um, bring uh, therapy dogs with us uh, to different events, uh, to um, distribute our, our mascot counseling cow. Right. Uh, so we're doing a lot of things to sort of make uh, counseling more friendly, more accessible to students. Jennifer, I imagine that Gizmo here is a huge part of that. Talk to me about what his job is on campus and how he's helpful. So Gizmo visits the University of New Haven both as a canine first responder in the event of a traumatic event um, and also as a therapy dog around finals or midterms and he just reduces stress, comforts the students that need a little extra TLC. How do you think uh, he is able to help in maybe ways that, that a human may not? Well, just the act of petting a dog, um, it's been shown that it lowers blood pressure, decreases the stress hormones, increases feel-good hormones, and so, and it also brings the students into the present. So instead of spending their time worrying about the future, they're right there with the dog in the moment. I can definitely see that. And Charles, are you seeing this pay off with the young people you work with? Uh, it totally is. Our, our Dogs in the Halls program is, is massively successful. I mean, we have you know hundreds of students showing up to uh, interact with the dogs that we bring uh, to campus and it's amazing to see that they, they will really sort of get right down on the ground kind of form a circle around the dogs and it truly is a, a grounding and a present uh, kind of experience yeah Charles if you would talk to those moms and dads at home I know school starts for you guys on Monday mm -hmm. UConn went back today no matter where kids are going to school they might you know have some issues what do you say to the moms and dads who are kind of getting those panic oh. tear-filled phone calls my gosh you know um, for the parents I mean I'm, I'm hugely sympathetic of the parents situation I mean it's a, it's as much of transition for parents as it is uh, for students. Um, you know, I think the, the best kind of stance to take is just to recognize that, you know, your anxiety is because it is a major transition. I mean, it really matters. You really do care about your kids. Um, staying connected with them is important, letting them know you're, you're there for them. Uh, not overdoing that is also important, right, because they're also trying to establish a little bit of independence at the same time. Well, some great information. Jennifer Charles Gizmo, thank you so much for being here. We want to wish everybody a successful uh, start to the new school year. And uh, if you need to pay Gizmo a visit, I say do it. Thank right. you. Thanks for being here. Thank Thanks, Gizmo. Much.